Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and thank you guys so much for joining me on my YouTube journey. I know you usually come on here to see my recipes and all my cooking, but I definitely want to be sharing or start sharing a little bit more of like my personal life and um, just kind of like a little bit more of what I do outside of the kitchen. So today I have someone that's super, super important in my life, which is Don, and he is now my fiance. So we just recently got engaged and um, yeah, I want to introduce you guys to him. So here's Donnie, you can say hi to everyone. Hi everybody. And um, so we figured that we would get started um, with a little Q&A because I know you guys have a ton of questions. Well, actually my Instagram followers, so if you guys are um, coming on here through in, from Instagram, hello, hello. Um, but if not, then make sure that you do follow me on Instagram where I share a lot more information um, just about keto and diet tips and lifestyle and mom life, just a little bit of everything. So um, anyway, we're going to answer some of those questions. We got a few thousand, <laughs> we got like so many, so many questions, um, but there were some popular questions that um, we're going to answer today. And of course, if there's more, then we can make a part two but we will be answering some of the top questions, okay? Okay guys, so we're gonna get started with our first question, which is the most requested question on my channel, on my page, and it is how we met. So, how we met, Donnie? Simply, we have a mutual friend, and I saw Myra and said, who is she? He told me, I asked her to lunch, she said yes, and the rest is history. Yeah, we're at, we're thinking about filming like a really detailed version for you guys because I know you guys want all those juicy details. And um, we're gonna film that on a separate video. So those of you that are interested in knowing all the details, it'll be there for you, okay? But we're gonna go on to question number two. All right, guys, and question number two, another super, 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 super popular question is what is our age difference? So. Dun, 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 34 years. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I know, 34 years, guys. There it is. Can you believe that? I know. Donnie looks amazing. He's like Benjamin Button, you know? But um, your girl here is about to be 36, too, so how do I look? Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So there it is. 34 years. Let's go on to question number three. All right, guys, and for question number three, it is, has Donnie ever been married before, and will this be our first marriage for both of us? And the answer is, I've been dancing for a long time, and this is my first marriage, and I'm super happy about this. Is he a player? Oh, no player. No player. <laughs> But no, Donnie's never been married. I've never been married. So yeah, this is going to be our first experience together. Okay, and now going on to question number four. Does Donnie have any kids? Not that I know about. <laughs> I have no I kids. Mean, <laughs> we don't have anyone chasing them, guys. We don't have anyone no. chasing them. <laughs> so, no, he does not have any kiddos. We'll leave it at that. But question number five is, do we plan or want to have kids? So. The answer is yes. We, can, you, can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we are thinking about it. We've been talking about it. When we first met, I really, really wanted a baby. Nati was four. So I was like, that's like the perfect age. But Donnie was like, I don't know. And so I was like, I respected that. I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't super pushy. And um, then I kind of got over it. Because, you know, as a woman, you're just like, whatever, I'll do me. And, um, but then all of a sudden, now Donnie is like, yes, yes, yes. And so we've been talking about it more. And we're thinking, yes. So if that does happen, we will bring you guys along with, you know, on the journey, of course. Did you want to say something? Yeah, I think this is an adventure I've never had in my life. My life has been full of all kinds of adventures, and this is an experience I never have had. 
it certainly is a late age to have a baby, but um, I have high energy, and this is something I think that Myra would make a, a wonderful mother, and, and something that we really look forward to and share together. So, um, if God willing we do, then yes. All right, guys, so for the next question is, how do we handle our cultural differences? So you know, I'm a Mexican girl from Pico. So both my parents are from Mexico. My mom's from Guadalajara. My dad's from Zacatecas. And then we have Donnie. And I have a Russian father and a Scottish mother. And I'm obviously a white guy. <laughs> and in, Laguna to, <laughs> in Laguna Beach. In Laguna Beach. And I've got to say that we never even had any cultural differences. The blend was so easy. And I know. it was so natural. Um, Love is love, and we've... How about the food? Oh, okay. I love Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got lucky there. Yeah, Donnie's been spoiled. Um, his totally. favorite dish is chile rellenos, which the recipe's coming soon to the YouTube channel, so don't worry. Low-carb version for you guys. Um, what about the time? Oh, by the way, I, I, I don't know. If, if this, this is just a Myra deal. It's not <laughs> cultural. But Myra... When you tell her something has to be done by one, it's done by four or five. <laughs> Not that bad, okay? But, oh, yeah. you know, it's just how I grew up. Um, I know some people, you know, yeah, it's probably just my family. But, yeah, like, my dad's side of the family has always been super punctual. And then my mom's side of the family, like, everyone's always super late. And then Donnie is, like, the most punctual person on the face of this planet. And so that was that was probably I think the thing that we struggled with yeah, the most. I don't most think that's at. cultural. I think it's just just family style, habit, whatever. Yeah, it but in be. terms of like our cultures, I think we have blended really, very really well, well and very, we've very never well. had any any issues with that. So Nothing. yeah. All right, and moving on to question number seven. It is what did my family think of me dating an older man? So believe it or not. They met him, and even like my aunts that are typically just super like, um, what's the word? I just tend to like criticize certain things about everyone. Like, instantly fell in love with him. I was like, it was just crazy. So anyway, my mom met him. Of course, loved him. My sister. Everyone has just loved Donnie from the time that they met. Um, have met him and then like a big one was for when my dad met him my dad flew out and like we all went out to dinner and we spent you know the day together there was definitely like the language barrier but my dad speaks like choppy English and then Donnie was trying his best to speak Spanish and yeah we went to um oh gosh it was called to <laughs> call and we, yeah, we had some, we had like, a great time. yeah, it was just like a super casual setting and it was just really cool. So anyway, um, my, everyone has basically been waiting for this to happen from like year one. So he's just a little late. Okay. But anyway, yeah, everyone loves him. And to be honest with you, I don't even know, like I expected a lot more like pushback from people, but it's been, it's been really, really great. So yeah. Moving on to the next question. Okay, and question number eight is, how did Don know it was time to propose? Like, how are... So this is an easy answer. From about four or five months into the relationship, Myra was working out with me. I would walk outside the gym, and I was so in love, I'd just look at her and say, will you marry me? And she'd say to me, you have to do this right. So like, this went on for a long time, and I'd walk out from places, and I'd say, will you marry me? And she said, you have to do this right. So it finally got to the place where I thought, I'm going to do this very right. <laughs> I want to make this the most special night of our life. Top everything off we've ever done. And we've done so many things. So He only waited you know, <laughs> five and a half years, guys. But, um, but it's the truth. We'd walk out. And like the very first time he said it, it surprised the heck out of me, right? Because he was like all serious, like, Myra, will you marry me? And I was like, you can't ask me like that. You have to do it right, you know? And I don't know if that kind of scared him or what, but... It didn't scare me. I think that what happened was this 
pandemic took place, we were able to go down to Co to uh, Cabo several mm -hmm. times. So let's thank the pandemic, or else I would have waited <laughs> for like another, you know, but four years. I found the most perfect place to ask Myra to marry me, and made a plan to go down to the hotel we went down to, and planned in advance the way that I wanted to do it right. Because I know with all those instructions to do it right, it had to be really right. Mm -hmm. And so the love was there. Um, we felt like we were already married. And I set it up in far in advance. Had the ring for quite a while. And, uh, and, then, and then made the proposal. So long story short, Donnie knew right away. Just took him, you know, five and a half years. <laughs> All right, guys. So these were some of the most asked questions. We have a ton more questions to go over. There are a lot of questions regarding the proposal, but it's getting late. Donnie and I have dinner reservations. So if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe. You give this video a big thumbs up and turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of my future videos. And in the comments below, let me know if you guys want to see a part two and what you guys want to see from us. But we are heading out and we will see you on the next video. We love you and have a good night.